Hi guys, welcome to Motivational Monday. Today we're talking about chasing your dreams and I have Phil Genius here with me and he's going to talk a little bit about his transition into his dreams. You want to say hello? Yo, it's Phil Genius out here representing the DMV. Awesome, awesome. So first of all, I just want to ask you, like, how, tell us your story. Tell us your why. Um, so, so like most people, honestly, I was, I was stuck in the whole idea of that the 9 to 5 was what everybody was supposed to do. Um, pretty much came from a traditional household. I've been blessed to have a mother and father in my life. Um, graduated from a nice, a nice university. Um, was about to do the nine to five myself, honestly, and just it just wasn't it just wasn't fitting. You know what I'm saying? If you have a if you have a, a circular peg, and you're trying to put in a square hole. It's just it not going to work. work. Regardless work. of what's wrong, there's nothing wrong with either piece. It just exactly. doesn't fit. Yeah, exactly. absolutely. And so one of the things that um, honestly helped me through my, my ending years of college with music. Um, kind of just being just really just lost in my thoughts, you know what I'm saying? Just going through depression somewhat, ways to cope with it. Music really just helped me and realize that I could help myself by writing my thoughts down and I can right, inspire an outlet other people. To be able exactly. to vent through your process. Exactly. So ever since then, I was just like, damn, I'm having fun with this. People are feeling it. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to stop. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. So when did you realize that this was something you wanted to pursue? Hmm. I would say, I would say spring of this year, honestly. Okay. So you, you're just now getting into that oh, transition yeah. a little oh, bit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like at first it was like one of those things like, oh, I'm just going to do it like on the side. Like it's like a hobby right. type deal. But then it's just like it slowly started just like taking over like, all aspects of life. I'm just like every every like waking moment. I'm just like thinking about like how can I improve myself? Like how can I um, get to the next level as far as like career goes? Okay. So what do you hope to give back to the world through all of this? Um, just to show people that you can if you if you have a goal, whether it be whether it be music, mm -hmm. whether you be that you don't even have to be an artist of any kind. You can be a businessman. If you actually have a goal and you have a vision of yourself achieving something, you can make it possible. You just have to put in the daily work, and if you're passionate about it, anything is possible. Absolutely. One thing that I like to do is earn my sleep. So before I go to sleep at night every day, making sure that I've done something that contributed to my exactly. future and to my business. And if I haven't, I can't go to sleep. And exactly. I like sleep. I really exactly. do. Exactly. So it's really, it pushes me to say, okay, what do I need to accomplish to feel good about today in general? So and I mean, definitely. And, and at the end of the night, you'll sleep better because if you if you put in 100% you could possibly in the day, you'll you'll have clearer thoughts. Like Absolutely. If you, if you, if you half-assed it and you're like, damn, I could have done this, I could have done that. Right. How come I didn't do that? And right. Just, regrets and exactly. what ifs and all of that. Minimize regrets. <laughs> Absolutely. So what motivates you to keep going throughout day to day? Uh, my brothers, my family, the people that support me. Okay. Like, so having a really good support system mm -hmm. behind you. Like I think that's honestly one of the, the biggest things mm -hmm. that's, that sparked my development, not only as, as a person, but as an artist as well. Realizing it's not me, me, me. It's like, what can I do to help serve others? Okay, perfect. Yeah. So, if you could go back and tell your teenage you one thing, what would it be? One thing? Oh, as okay, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Three. I, I, knew, I knew one thing. Okay. Stop giving a fuck about people's opinions. Oh my goodness, like, that's so real. Like, literally, like, yeah. the, 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 the naysayers, the people that try to put you down, like, they're not doing anything to better you. Like, right. the people that care about you are the ones that want to see you prosper those are the only people you should be even caring about so like at the end of the day it's just it's an opinion absolutely that opinion is not helping you grow it's not helping you it's not helping you make money it's not helping you build in any way absolutely and one thing that i've learned over time is it's important like you said to have a great support system but making sure that support system isn't negative nancy's Exactly. And things like that. Like, it's one thing to have constructive criticism. But if all you have to say is negative, oh yeah, I really oh, yeah. can't have you so close <laughs> because it's so easy to adopt those thought processes mm -hmm. as your own. And then it's playing back in your head over and over again. Oh, yeah. So it's you like definitely a, have to you be have, careful. Oh, yeah. I, I love that point. You have to keep 
you have to keep you don't have to keep, you don't have to keep your circle small. You just have to make sure that people that are in your circle are very authentic and right doing everything to help better y'all selves. Absolutely, and not tear each other down. Absolutely, and those who may not. And it, I think it's one thing because a lot of people quote that as I have your best interest mm. and you can have my best interest and always have something negative to say. Oh, yeah. And that <laughs> in and of itself, I've just had to learn to reposition people. Uh, like I don't necessarily have to cut you out of my life, oh, yeah. but I may not talk to you about certain things exactly. until I know, you know, that the action is Chess in place games. and things Chess like that. Games. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> that is so critical. And I wish I knew that earlier. Like, I really, really do. So, I oh, definitely yeah. appreciate that. Um, oh, yeah. So, what projects are you currently working on? So, right now, I just finished up um, my debut EP um, okay. called Memoirs of Golden Heart. Um, so, that released October 28th this nice, year. So, it's nice. been pretty much a month now. Okay. And I feel like the release of that project has just been, like, a way off the chain. Just to know that it's done. Just to know it's done. It's But, like, I started the project back in like February. Mm-hmm. Like I originally had a project that was done and I was going to release it in February. Okay. But then I like I took like a serious step back and was just like this isn't the best work I should put out first. Okay. So being honest with yourself. Mm-hmm. Exactly, just being honest with myself cuz like you you you'll have you'll have people that support you and everything that's like, "Oh yeah, that's good, that's good." But yeah, at the same time like if you as an artist feel something isn't ready, it's not ready. Cause if you're doubting yourself, like if you're doubting yourself, and you're supposed to be the main person confident in it, then exactly, it's a wrap. So if you can't have that Kanye confidence, exactly, like it's exactly. just not ready at that point. Exactly. And being honest that, with yourself, that, that, that Kanye confidence and like um, the the Drake ability to just put everything out there. Absolutely, absolutely. So, yeah, so that's just been great. Um, I actually had a show in Philadelphia this past Saturday that went that was amazing. So right now, I'm just going to be doing a lot more performances, uh, continue to market um, that project. Right. I actually have a collab project out there. Okay. Um, name to be announced, date to be announced, but it's coming along as far as the uh, song selections and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. A lot of exciting <laughs> things. Yeah. Okay. Exciting things. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, where do you see your dreams taking you in the next, like, five years? The next five years. Now, keep in mind, this is recorded, so, like, you have to... Oh, I know. I know. <laughs> so once it hits the internet, like, you got to do it. <laughs> You're going to be like, in five years, what exactly. was it? Exactly. Gonna... <laughs> oh, yeah, I mean, I mean, didn't Khaled, the uh, um, Khalid, I think that's how you pronounce it, the singer, mm-hmm. he said, uh, like, I saw, like, I'm, like, shading, but, like, yeah. he tweeted, like, in 2014. 14. He tried to get the Grammys, and, then, like, three years later... He's nominated. He's nominated. Yeah, and yeah. honestly, I, I thought, I saw that as well. I thought that yeah. was so cool, because... It was 2014, and he just said, I wanted to go. Oh, yeah. You know, like, exactly. I just want to go to the Grammys. <laughs> and then here we are three years later, and he's nominated for five. Mm-hmm. Like, that in and of itself. And I, and I think that part of the reason why I asked this question is because I really believe once you put stuff out there, oh yeah, you start to focus on it, and you start to work Your towards words manifest. it. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. So with that five being years, said. I'm trying to be on tour. Okay. I'm trying to be on tour. Okay. Like, if not headlining my own tour like on a major tour awesome. and, then we, and then of course we go into award shows perfect perfect so tell everyone where they can follow you your mm. instagram social media all okay that. okay okay <laughs> so y'all can find me on my soundcloud at phil genius genius with the j um genius with a g well, well answer the question my middle name is jamal uh, for the, for the ogs sense. that know me yeah. So yeah, that's where it comes from. And similarly, so Nicole's network. Uh-huh. My middle name's Nicole. Exactly. So I get it, hundred percent, wholeheartedly. Exactly. So you're on SoundCloud. And I'm Do also you... on um, IG. Mm-hmm. It's just Phil Genius, just all the way through. Okay. Yeah. Um, all my music's on I- iTunes, Apple Music, Spotify. Um, I think I got like a, a, a fan page on Facebook as well. Okay. So y'all I'm gonna need you to know though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all, 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 y'all can find me on there. Awesome. Know and then uh, on Twitter, it's a uh, Phil Too Cool, the number two, and then Cool spelled with a K. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> well, thank you for being a part of this video of and course. for sharing your dreams with us a little bit. Thank you for inviting me. Absolutely. Um, I definitely want to, you know, get this out there. I think mm -hmm. I heard your music on SoundCloud. I thought it was pretty great. Hey. Um, you're good. Like, oh, yeah, well, not we like <laughs> you're good, but like I didn't know. And I think part of that was because you know we've known each other for years at this point. Oh yeah. But music just wasn't on your forefront. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I was. I've been underground with it. I just absolutely. Found, I just so it caught me by surprise <laughs> a little bit, and I was just like, "Wow, this is actually really, really good." So that's why I wanted to have you on here to kind of get a chance to do my part to help you get out there. A little oh bit yeah, more. of course. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. Um, and that's that. Thank you.